Hello YouTube! This is the last video probably I'm going to make because well it's coming down coming down tonight starting tonight if it doesn't happen tonight I'll be thinking it'll start Wednesday, uh, Thursday or Friday. Probably. <laughs> if it doesn't happen by then, by Saturday, I'll be. So, forget that scenario for the moment because, like, I say you can feel truth. The truth is, you can feel truth. Feeling that truth <laughs> should be the first thing you do. The truth is, you can feel truth. I suppose you need to be able to feel something, not have a completely concrete stone heart. So, in order for me, you know, as far as, you know, God hasn't changed her mind, it's still on, as far as I can feel. Now God might change his mind, her mind, but that's not for me to say. <clears throat> um, okay, so I haven't done a catch-up video, so I'm doing it now. Because, you know, there might not be any YouTube video watching this time next week. And I wanted to let you know some good news. That on the 14th of April, um, the lowest, the, the, the brother... Sister soul, or half soul, that was in the lowest condition, turned back to God. And it was like the releasing of a rubber band. So if you imagine going away from God is like pulling a rubber band. And it was never going to snap. And when they turned back to God, it was like... It was that fast. Um, so, once that happened... Of course, in the spirit world, they are able to observe people's condition. And seeing that soul's condition very very fast improve it's all, it's all gonna it's all going it's all going the last will be first and the first will be last so that that's happened and um, We're all, we're all going to be moving in that direction, being happier. People on earth now aren't going to have the same level of um, you know, spirit involvement. And I've already seen a change in a friend of mine who I'm chatting with yesterday and she actually looked me in the eye for the first time I, I can't really remember but properly full on in the eyes talking to me not uncomfortable and it was that that was a change so yeah <clears throat> so um as I've not really planned what to say and it's going to be the last video 
it's going to be a bit of an old fashioned one <laughs> I'm just going to sit and chat for a bit and then you can do what you want but that, that, that was the good news, there may have been some others some other good news well, of course, my last video I'm saying about the earthquake that God told me to say about. Um, but I'd like to talk about the feeling. Like, really, the, whether I make this video or not is kind of inconsequential. And all the videos I've made... affecting the world they haven't really done at all particularly as I suppose most people who listen to my videos well I can't say that can I but there are bound to be some who don't have a clue what I'm on about especially if they've watched a recent one for the first time and then there'll be some people who just like to put videos on that has somebody talking <laughs> and maybe it's going in subconsciously but no it's more of a, a reference so you know it can be looked back on and seen yeah this was said at this time that's that's kind of fact um, so yeah so it's like a video diary for me and if it's still available sometime in the future, maybe of some interest. Because what's going on is all feeling. And I suppose if you're not feeling it in its original source through into the soul, then your life sort of plays it out <laughs> too with events and well yeah feelings too because when you're not feeling yourself you're probably not feeling very good so then you're always striving to find something to make you feel good and the obstacles you have to go through to get those things is if you like the message that's coming to you from God because God is our parent and is the only one who can teach us and and therefore that's that's what's going to be happening and has been happening all this time yet we're sort of been in this continual denial humanity that we don't need God that's been our history over the last 6,000 years that we can attain satisfaction without God not possible because the only time you truly feel satisfied is when you feel God's love your parents love for you your eternal parent your earthly parents are your brother and sister equal equally we're all equally brothers and sisters the first will be last and the last will be first and you know we've got an eternity to live so you know It all comes around and goes around. We're all equal. We're all unique and special. No matter what. And if, you know, if you speak to anyone, no matter what they, what job they do, what role they have, 
you'll find that they're both rich in some ways and poor in other ways. Um, it's crunch time for me this week. I've got the faith and I'm not going to imagine myself in tomorrow. I'm living in the now. It feels good. It feels good to be God's anointed one. You know, I think I'm prepared to, to undertake that task. I had feelings of, of uh, how it's a, a trap, how I'm trapped in this for, you know, maybe the next thousand years. And I guess you know, a commitment, you make a commitment, and I'm prepared to make that commitment for a loving God, if it helps in God's plan to bring 25 billion souls, you know, into being aware of their eternal existence. That's been, you know, God's plan. He's created children, he, she, and you've got to get them prepared to face an eternal life. And, you know, the eternal life sounds scary when you intellectualise it. But when you feel it, it feels just fine. It feels, <laughs> it feels great. Because to cease to exist, if you truly go deep down enough into your psyche, to think that you will cease to exist, no soul can bear that. Because it's not true. So you see how the truth feels good? Um, la di da. <laughs> Cannabis is good. It is good. Um, it doesn't affect everyone in the same way. And if it does lead people on to harder drugs, well, they're wrong to go on to harder drugs. Because, you know, snorting cocaine will get you high, if you like, um, no matter what, no matter what sort of, what you're doing in your life, right? You'll get you high. But cannabis, if you're doing wrong, <laughs> will, you'll know you're doing wrong. It's like, amplifies the soul and does increase your lovingness. And there is a come down from it, and all that's true. But you can't hide things. And so people will eventually want to stop smoking cannabis usually, because, you know, suddenly it's making them paranoid, and it's just something they don't want to face. And when you're not on cannabis, you can, you can put up with it, you can you can divert your mind away from it and you can remain in that denial and then when you smoke cannabis it comes to the forefront because you're in a more loving state, you're more feeling your soul 
and you and your soul know that's where you've got to go. And those fears, paranoias, most of them can be dispelled by knowing the truth about a subject. So I used to have a fear, a paranoia of going insane. But what I actually saw was analysing the truth of things and the world that we live in. Actually, insanity is a myth. And I've been working with these guys with learning disabilities for the last year. Some of them quite severe. None of them are insane. If you saw someone hurting themselves and screaming and foaming at the mouth, you might assume they were insane. But there's a reason. You know, something in the childhood. Something that happens, something... You know there's a reason. Because the rest of the time, you know, I don't want to talk about my work, it's you know, confidential, I'm not talking about other people, you know, vulnerable adults. But just enough to say that they are all very, very lovely, more connected to their soul than the average person, and therefore should be. Um, not that you should look up to anyone, but. In a sense, you know, you know, look up to a soul who's in a better condition than you because you would want to be in that condition. So children are in a better soul condition because <coughs> they've been less screwed up by society. So not look up to, but admonish <laughs> a word that came to mind just understand that that's the direction you want to be going to you don't want to be going down so it's not idealism it's just respecting the fact that someone's in a better condition than you but also you should respect your elders because they've had to put up with this society for longer but every generation has a different um, different purpose, I guess, and yeah. well, we've got eternity to share all the ins and outs of everything that's happened to everyone, and I think it'd be quite interesting, and I'm looking forward to meeting every other 25 billion souls that I haven't met yet. And um, it's amazing that we're all different. And we all have this aspect from our parent. Anyway, so I just wanted to get back. I thought I was going to say something. Looking up to people who survived longer. Or just loving, really. You know, look at the positives, but that wasn't what I was going to say. Well, I think I started this by saying that God's in control of everything for every individual. And we've got all our brothers and sisters. We've got eternity to get to know them all. Feel good when you're in truth. There's going to be an earthquake possibly tonight. That's going to start. That's going to start things off. Economic collapse. War breakout. Possibly nuclear. But we will see. 
live life day by day. Quite often after making a video, I've said things like this, you know, giving advice, and I take it too. I take my own advice, and I've been much happier. I mean, it's getting quite, it's getting to the point where, but you know, even if this earthquake doesn't happen. I'm definitely going to get, you know, laughed and scoffed at and I'm going to have to sort of grovel, grovel to some people and say, sorry, totally wrong, what a wally. And, um, I'd probably think cannabis was the fault of it. And then I could um, give up cannabis and clean up my house and but no. You know the changes I've made like letting my garden gardens grow. Oh why don't we have a quick look? Right, so we've got trees. They come out of nothing. There's two there. And then that's spinach. Got a tree that just popped up there, you see the bramble, once the bramble starts. See I planted that little blueberry bush down there but it's hopeless. The raspberries didn't grow because it's too dry, but there's some natural raspberries coming out. And I haven't so I started last year, just left this lawn completely alone. I planted that stuff over there and there's a little pond down the bottom. Alright. Oh, Back garden's even better. <clears throat> so I left this bramble here quite a few years ago, this is my compost heap. I just throw everything on there. And the bramble has just sort of create this massive area <laughs> around. And uh, trees, trees have popped up. See, because the bramble accesses the um, the deep ground, gets through the clay, and then all the nutrients can come up. So there's a little tree that's popped up there. Tree there. A tree. And the trees popping out. Trees sticking over the roof. there. Little strawberries in the background. and So I've just left this at the moment. So it looks awful but everything dies back. There's some big potatoes coming up. That will come up again. Look at the healthy dandelions. They're a bit wet but big old dandelions. Anyway, I love just letting it happen. <clears throat> Like nature will eventually take over anyway. So, why stop it? <laughs> and it's great. Nature knows. Nature knows the best way to do everything. And there's life out there. Birds love it. Got a hedgehog. Comes. I think the hedgehog hibernated in my back garden last year, somewhere. And um, I've seen him about. 
saw him hiding there in the daytime in the the old dead. And what I have, was interesting about the old dead stuff, see the years before, the dead stuff I sort of picked it all out and burnt it, but this year I just left it. And in the front garden there's hardly any dead stuff left. And you know, everything gets drawn back. And when you've got things like a type of grass that's just taken over, uh, crab root grass or something like that, and it kills the roots of other things. It's um, it's obviously killing the roots of other things because they're not supposed to be there. And what will happen, like with a lot of things, it will, you know, you just have shitloads of it all over the place, and then it will kind of kill itself out. And you know, I haven't fully seen the purpose of that grass yet, but I will. <laughs> I will. I have, I have that faith. I don't know why. I was going to show you what I skinned up on. I think some people say it's sacrilege, but I don't think so. And I don't feel so. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm not going to change that. I'm not going to change what I've done with the, the nature there you know I just I enjoy observing what it does without having to do anything to it I um, get a bit of a sun break I'll be sitting out there I like it I've just started working full time now, so I don't do my business anymore at all, and I'm um, getting used to that. It's all right. I'm, if things carry on. I'm fine. I'm quite good. But you know, there's people around the world who aren't. Lots of people around the world who aren't. I'd say the majority. I mean, they're okay. Well, I don't know. Shouldn't talk too much about what's going to happen. You don't always know. But. God is dealing with everybody individually and people are because people are getting to God and God is getting to them see once so I was saying I've been this conduit to God and um so I feel someone coming in and I've got God here and they can go left or right <laughs> Mother God or Father God above or beneath I think Mother God's slightly easier to feel than Father God but anyway um, they go to God so in a sense once that's happened I see what happened to me when I was 20 and that when God put his hand on my head like that 21, well, I was and so once to that point like, that's it you know, it, it's a slow sort of it's not, you know, ultimately really fast but it's it's gonna happen they are now sort of connected to God and God can pose much more easily <laughs> get them on the right path anyway what was I saying so this is what's been happening and I, I've kind of seen it happening by you know this sort of face um, YouTube comments and sort of videos going up 
and yeah, all the people calling out to Jesus Christ, and someone made a good comment. You know, God hears our hearts, and when these people are saying Jesus Christ, it may not be the right word, but their hearts are saying God, and that's what God hears. So it's okay. And Allah, you know, their hearts are saying it. So we all know the God with our heart. And uh, that, and it's yeah, it's definitely increasing, and that's good. And um, what I've been feeling lately, you know, there's going to be real changes. So people will just stop picking up the guns. They put the guns on the ground, and we had there was a person who. Um, whistleblower for the who was a drone operator and he's basically come out and said you know how many civilians have died how bad it is how the government want us detached from the war it's the deception you see all the stuff going on in the world that we don't know about and so it, it is going to change God is going to change it. We'll have reached that point, you see. And this is why I was talking about the, the souls turning back towards God. We'll have reached that point when, we, when we've learnt. And so God doesn't have to... We don't have to continue in this error. We, we're going to know enough to know that... <laughs> God is our parent and teacher and that is the way we need to go. So we will have learnt our lesson. And the earth will be good again. And the souls that come down here for an existence are coming here for a good existence rather than a we have to learn stuff existence so it's like what I said in the last longish video you know we will bring about the change our souls it's not necessarily what you do it's the way that you do it and that's about your soul I notice an amazing difference, you know, this about being soft and loving. And it is nice, you sort of feel it, you feel like your heart is a nice soft heart rather than a hard heart. And when you're walking past people in the street, if you have this sort of feeling of softness and you know, it's like an understanding, it's like this person walking towards me, I might be getting a feeling from their soul that they're, they're a bit, you know, hard like that. But rather than feeling that and getting hard back, feel that and understand, you know, there's a reason and everything else. And, and you get just a different reaction from the person. Different as in unexpectedly nice. Because love conquers. So whatever you feel, the responding feeling, love is always the best. The best reaction. And it's real. It's the only thing that is real. Like I was saying before, the, any pleasure, any earthly pleasure will have an equivalent soul pleasure that's so much better. And, yeah, so smoking, again, that pleasure you receive from smoking, 
on soul level there'll be an even better one. It's just, you know, there'll be <laughs> it'll be 3D rather than 2D, but or, yeah, loads, loads better. <laughs> you know, I'm not thinking about what I'm going to be learning in a thousand years, and even time, you know, time goes. Time is a, just a dimension, and that's gone. The eternal now is what we're in. <laughs> so I think I might get back to the eternal now. I think I've talked for long enough and the battery's probably going to go. Um, any uh, <laughs> last words? For those of you who watch this video before it goes, I don't know. I think I'll go to the farm shop and get some uh, fruit and veg. Yeah, I can't think of anything else to say. So, adieu. Hallelujah.